Dozens of people had their cars destroyed or damaged during a fire that tore through a southeast Albuquerque apartment complex. But there is one person who lost almost everything that police recognized. And only News 13 was there when they tracked her down to give her some much needed help. News 13's Marissa Lucero is live near San Pedro and Gibson with that story. Marissa. Dean, as you can see, the parking lot is still taped off. Now, investigators spent the day combing the scene, talking to residents about what they heard and what they saw last night. But it's one resident who they spent a little more time with. Me and my husband um, heard pops like gunshots. It was an intense fire. Residents are still in shock as they overlook the aftermath of a fire that ripped through nearly four dozen cars at the Villa Apartments early this morning. Yeah, this, uh, this didn't happen by accident. Investigators worked the scene all day, but for a fire that left behind so much destruction without injuring one person, it's hard to imagine what a chaplain and a major with the Albuquerque Police Department. Okay. We've got a, an entourage here. Would want with just one victim in particular. Oh my God. Are you Rosemary? Yes, I am. Hi, I'm Hi. Laurie Wells. So Channel 13 called us and made us aware that you were one of the victims of this fire. You may remember Rose Barak. She's the nurse who was one of the first to run to the site of Albuquerque police officer Daniel Webster the night he was shot and mortally wounded during a traffic stop in 2015. She held him and gave him first aid, fighting desperately to save his life. Thank you, ma'am. You were with us in the dance darkest hour. Oh, forget. so we wanted to help you out. So I have a check here from the Chaplain Unit Fund thousand dollars. Rose's car was packed full with her belongings as she planned to leave the state for a new job, but her car was one of the more than 30 that was destroyed. Honestly, I just, I, I don't feel worth it. Well, pay I don't it feel deserving of it. Pay it forward. So I will, I will. Thank you. Thank you. She says she prays for Officer Webster and his family every day. I keep him in my thoughts, you know, sometimes I find myself just talking to him and just, I don't know, I don't know why. I... And it won't matter where she moves. My heart will always be with APD and with Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. It'll never change. Well, Rose tells us it'll be a few more days until she gets on the road and heads to San Diego. She says right now she's just trying to stay positive and help other neighbors who lost their belongings in this fire. Back to you, Dean. All right, Marissa, great story. Fire officials estimate 58 cars total were either damaged or destroyed in that fire. The cause of that fire is under investigation.